Hello everyone, uh, I'm Lynette with Charm Gravy Crochet and today we're going to learn how to make this slouchy hat. Um, this is a pattern that I designed and I call it my birthday cake hat. My husband says it looks more like a wedding cake, uh, but I made it, I designed it around the time of my birthday and it kind of looks like a cake. I, it is a slouchy hat, so it's uh, important to remember this as you're making the hat. I need to go over a few things. Um, I'm going to take it off and put it on my mannequin. So as you can see, the hat is to be like a little slouchy. This part, which I refer to as the wagon wheel, and I'll show you why. Uh, this is my prototype hat that I originally designed. And you can see that it has like a wagon wheel kind of look to it with your spokes being out further than, than this, like the background. Um, I made this one and I thought, oh, to be slouchy, it needs to be big. Wrong. Uh, it can be big and you can wear it that way. And uh, so like that, and that would be fine. This hat has 90 stitches around here. And when I got it all together and I put it on, it's way too big um, around here. <laughs> but I thought it had to be big to be slouchy. Uh, my first attempt at this, so bear with me. 90 was way too big for me. It might not be too big for you, but it's way too big for me. Um, so I wouldn't suggest necessarily making it 90, but that's why this was a prototype. We complete the wagon wheel and then we're going to come down and make the sides of the hat. The bottom line is this completed project, or the one that actually fits me, this wagon wheel measures about six inches. You can't see because you can't really see the wagon wheel because I put that big huge pom pom on there. Um, but this wagon wheel measures about six inches and it's 60 stitches. Um, you will need 60 multiples of four for this part of your hat for the cabling we need multiples of four, of four so if you put if you find um that the 60 stitches is too small and you feel like you want it to be bigger or if you wanted to make it for a small child and you think 60 stitches is too many that's fine just make it to the size that you want it to be um, and then you can fix your multiples of four here if it's not, you know, if you end up with 50 stitches, 48 is a multiple of four, you can do two decreases in this row right here when we come down the sides, and then you'll still have your multiple of four. You'll just decrease ones at the beginning and ones in the middle, and, you know, so you'll need to, like, work that out yourself. Um, but bear in mind, when you're making your wagon wheel part, I, would, I kept measuring it on my head. Oh, it needs to be this big, needs to, you know, um, before I had any sides on it. The cabling gives a lot of flexibility here. So this, it, it stretches out. So um, the 60 stitches, I'll put it on so that it's, you can see it tight on my head, does not cover like my whole head. But that's okay because the same stick, 60 stitches in the cabling is more than adequate to cover around my ears and keep it on my head. This part um, is a little tighter, so it helps hold it on. And then this is, but even if I pull it back and it's not as high on my head, it still stays on with the cabling, but the cabling really has a lot of stretch to it. So I don't want you to make it like I did with my prototype, make the beanie part of it, the, uh, the wagon wheel part of it, big enough to like, oh, this is how it should fit my head. No you know, or bigger because you want it to be big and slouchy, um, which is completely fine. I mean, if you want it to be big and slouchy and you want it to hang down like that, um, if you want it to be longer, you know, it, I guess the wagon wheel doesn't have to be bigger in order for the hat to be slouchy. Uh, if this amount of slouch that, that I wear here, if this isn't a, um, enough slouch, that's fine. You can add more 
at, at the end. You can add more of the cabling sections and the single crochet section. You know, add a third one and it'll be longer. Or you can just continue this part of the cabling longer. Um, you know, to make the hat hang lower. I wouldn't go too much lower because then it might just be too heavy, particularly if you put a pom-pom on it because then that weighs it down Then it might not want to stay on. So uh, I think I am doing, I think that's the most that I need to tell you about the construction of the hat. Um, we will do increases in each round here, but once we start here, there's no more increases uh, and there's no decreases unless you need to get to that multiple of, of four. Um, and I would suggest, uh, you know, just evenly spacing those increases or decreases on this row so that when you get to your cabling, you're all set to go. Uh, I did use, um, for this hat, any worsted weight yarn will do. Uh, I used Mainstay. This is main, uh, I think. Uh, Craftsman. And the gray is uh, Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. Today, I'm making this one today for my granddaughter. And I think I'm still going to make it the 60 stitches, even though she's going to be eight and her uh, head is not as big around as mine. I think I'm still going to make it the 60 st stitches. If by chance it's too big when we get it on her, I will add, I can uh, add a row of, you know, I can put another brim of this on it, make it a little bit longer and put a brim and then it'll be slouchy for, or, you know, longer for her. And it will, the uh, single crochet brings in the cabling. Um, I'm not quite sure which way I want to do it because maybe 48 stitches would be better for her littler head. Um, but I'm going to go with the 60 and if if it's she's got long hair so if she were a ponytail or anything more slouchy would be okay to fit her hair. Uh, so I'll just add um, extra single crochet at the end uh, to give it a little brim but the whole idea of the hat is that it starts with the cable. Um, so if I do that, you won't see it. <laughs> it's not going to be part of the tutorial. Uh, I know I'm going on and on. Uh, today I'm using Red Heart with Love Metallic in the color fuchsia for my wagon wheel and cabling that's replacing the white of this hat. And I'm going to be using a Soft and Sleek Yarn Bee, Soft and Sleek Um and this is called White Sparkle. So both of my colors are sparkly because she's eight. All right, enough of the rambling. Oh, uh, oh I'm using a six millimeter hook. You'll need a pair of scissors. Uh, I don't think you need a stitch marker that I recall. So let's get started. Okay, bear with me. I'm not the greatest at tutorials. It's only only done a couple but we're going to start with the magic ring and uh, there are a lot of tutorials on YouTube that are very good at teaching how to do a magic ring I'm not one of those because I I know how to do it I can't explain it and we are going to work 10 double crochet into the magic ring so you're going to yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and we're going to do that again Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to do that until we have a total of 10, four, my yarn split, 10 double crochet in here. I didn't count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Um, now we're going to pull it tight and we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch. 
Now we're working in the round, uh, but we're going to slip stitch, chain one, uh, and go into, well, you don't even have to do the chain one if you don't want to. Um, I, it's not in the pattern to do it that way. So you're going to, uh, you've got 10 in your ma magic ring. So 10 stitches for round one. Now round two, we are going, oh, you, oh that's what I want to tell you. You slip stitch to join every round, but we're not turning our work. So you're going to do a double crochet. We're going to increase on this round in every stitch. So you're going to do a double crochet here. And then you're going to do a front post double crochet around the same <laughs> stitch. So that just means you're going to take your yarn and wrap it around. Then you're going to do a double crochet in the next stitch and a front post. So you take your hook from behind and pull the stitch forward and do a double crochet. So that's going to put one stitch slightly behind the other stitch. So again, another increase and we're increasing in every stitch. So one front post double crochet. And then you're going to put your hook behind that very same post, pull up your loop and do another double crochet. We're going to continue this. We'll show you the front post one more time. You have to separate these. Don't feel, I mean, it's yarn. You can separate, put your hook behind your post, bring up a loop and make your double crochet. And this, like the stitches kind of want to feel like they're hiding. Maybe they start to look like they're hiding a little bit. They're not just work in there. And when you're going to do a front post, double crochet, I mean a double crochet and then a front post double crochet around every stitch. Until we get back to the beginning, you will have 20 stitches between the front posts and the regular double crochet stitches. You'll have 20 stitches when we get back to the end of the round. And we only got two more to go, so we'll we'll just carry on here. Okay, so I've made it all the way around. I should have 20 stitches. Let's just count them to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. That, that first one, because I didn't chain up or anything, uh, is a little low back there, but it'll be okay. So now we're going to slip stitch and join. And now for round um, three, we're going to kind of do the same thing. We're going to do a double crochet in the first stitch, so it's the back one. Come on. And then we're going to do um, two front posts around the front post. So now we're going to increase on the post side. And then a stitch in the double crochet. For, and then two increase on the front post double crochet so double crochet in the double crochet two whoops two front posts on the front post we're going to do this all the way around same thing and you always the front post sticks out a little bit more as it gets as you go uh, around make more rows it's more prominent so um oops, don't let them start hiding behind you <laughs> sometimes they want to kind of hide behind So 
So continue to do this. One double crochet in each double crochet from the previous round and two front post double crochets on the, um, on here. <laughs> I'm gonna pause this and meet you at the end. Okay, so now I've made it around and I have my 30 stitches. And I just wanted to uh, reiterate something here on the count. So this is one, two, and three. And like this one kind of hides a little bit. The, you know, the first back post, some of them they look, are front posts. They kind of look like they're hiding as you get around the circle. Like, oh, where's that stitch? It's back here. So, you know, just pull your stuff apart and find it. So we're going to slip stitch to our first uh, double crochet. And if you want to chain one, I mean, that's perfectly fine. And then you're going to do two, start of, of round four, we're going to do two double crochet in that very first stitch. Then we're going to do one front post double crochet around each front post double crochet and we're doing two, this is our increase, is two double crochet in each double crochet. And then one front post, which is, you know, around the next two stitches, they're front posts. Oh gosh, now I've got yarn bar. Uh, let's fix this, uh, hold on. Okay, it's all better. <laughs> uh, so I've got one front post around the front post, so now the increase is in between the spokes of your wagon wheel. Um, as we make this, we increase first the wagon wheel, then we increase the spoke behind it. Or the spoke around it. <laughs> the spoke. So <clears throat> one round we're increasing on the front post, and one round we're increasing on just the double crochets. And that's what we're going to do all the way around. At the end of round four, you should have 40 stitches total, and 20 of them should be double crochet, 20 of them should be front post double crochet, and um, we're getting really done with your, I mean, we only go to round six for this, so it's coming right along real quickly. Uh, just remember to do two front, or two double crochet, in the double crochet and one front post in each front post and I will see you at the end where you should have as I said 40 stitches okay so now I've come around to the end I have my 40 stitches I'm going to slip stitch to join like I said you can chain one if that makes it easier for you it does kind of a little bit now we're going to do um, okay uh, so we are in round five and we're going to do this will be an increase on the um, post front post double crochet so each double crochet is going to get a double crochet now we're going to increase uh, the front post double crochet gets a front post double crochet, and then we're going to increase on this one. So the second front post you can increase on. Then each double crochet, and they, like I said, might be hiding a little. I'm going off camera here. Um, double crochet gets a double crochet. Front post gets a front post. The second front post gets two. We're going to increase on the second front post. And like this double crochet, it's actually kind of like hiding back here behind these posts, but we're going to get our double crochet in there, double crochet in there. We start our front post double crochets. So we're going to get a front post double crochet around the front post. And then we're going to put two front post double crochets around this. And probably it really doesn't matter if you did the two front posts on either stitch. 
you know, the increase. Uh, let's see what that looks like, just to show you. Oh, darn it, anyway. As long as you end up with three front posts on top of two front posts, it really doesn't matter. Might actually look better on the first one. So, two doubles. And a total of three front posts out of the next wagon wheel section. We're going to do this all the way around till you get to the end. Um, and at the end of this, you should have 50 stitches. And I will meet you there. Okay, now for round six. This will be the last round that I'm making on this um, border. We're going to slip stitch. I have 50 stitches. We're going to slip stitch. Go ahead, chain one if you want to. We're going to do two. We're going to increase in the double crochets this time. So the first double crochet is going to give you an increase. You're going to do two in there. Then one in the next double crochet. So now you have a total of three double crochets. And then we're at the front posts. So we're going to do one front post double crochet in each of the three front post double crochets. And then back into the first double crochet, we're gonna increase, and then one double crochet in the next stitch, which is a double crochet and then one front post double crochet around each of the next three stitches like so and then two in the next double crochet for your in loops increase and one in the next double crochet oops <laughs> keep slipping <laughs> And then one front post in each of the next front posts. Now I hope I can carry on this conversation <laughs> and double crochet at the, and do my crochets at the same time. Um, at the end of this round, if this is not big enough, if you want it to be larger, or actually if you needed it to be smaller, um, as I said before, remember this is a very, the sides of the hat are very stretchy and this part does not sit on your head. I mean, if you wanted it to, I guess it could, but it's not, that's not the original design is for this hat to sit on your head, this part of the hat, the wagon wheel. So it doesn't need to fit your head to be as big as the crown of your head. Um, keeping that in mind if you still want it to be bigger you're going to do your increases in the same manner you're going to increase um, the next round you would increase on the the front posts um, so instead of three here you would and you would do an increase on this one and then oh, um, so you would do two around here if you needed to on the next row and then the next row you would do your increases in the double crochets not the front posts oh so then i just did two around there <laughs> okay we really don't want you to do two around there in this row because we did our increase here so uh, but just to show you that's how you would do that in the next row if you wanted to increase again so every other row you're increasing either on the front posts or the actual just double crochet row but at the 60 count, at the end of this, you'll have 30 double crochet. Oh, goodness, I forgot to do my increase. Um, at the end of this round, you will have 30 double crochets and 30 front post double crochets. Um, and 60 worked for me for my size head. Uh, as I said, this doesn't fit tightly on your head. 
and I don't want to forget to do the increase there. And one more double crochet before we get back into the front post double crochets. And it just happened, oops, just happened to work out well that 60, um, you know, multiple of four, which is what we need to go down the sides, um, is a multiple of four. And it worked out really nicely that I had an even number of double crochets and front post double crochets. So um, let me pause this video and I'll meet you back at the beginning. Okay, so um, now I've completed my 60, oops, <laughs> my six, 60 stitches and um, I pulled out my tape measure, I joined them joined it and it is just about six inches across uh, it is curling up a little bit but that's okay you don't need, you don't need to worry about that the next step will um, take care of that so now the next step around oh and again if you have uh, increased this to more oh, I didn't join it <laughs> if you have increased this to more stitches uh, so say you added another round and you now have 70 stitches uh, in the next round we're going to do a half double crochet round and we're going to start coming down the sides so if you have 70 stitches on here um, we need multiple of four so you can just add two you know increase someplace in along this half double crochet row um, i have to take my rings off they always get in my way uh, so anyway, during the half double crochet row, you can very easily uh, just add or subtract to get your multiples of four for the cabling rows to come. So now at this point, um, we're going to turn our work. This is the like one of two times. And again, you can chain one uh, if you want to. But now we're going to have the wrong side facing us. And... For round seven, we're going to do a half, we're going to do a front post half double crochet in each stitch around. So that's going to bring us down the sides. So it's a little confusing, but, um, so this is the stitch that we joined into right here. So we're going to turn around and we're going to do the same thing like a, um, double crochet but we're you're just going to do it once but we're going to do a half double crochet around every stitch unless you need to increase or decrease um so the half double crochet is uh wrap your yarn put your hook um behind and Wrap your yarn and pull up a loop and just do this half double crochet stitch one around each post all the way around so at the end you will have 60 or your multiple of four whatever that is but i'm just going to go with 60 uh, for the purposes of this tutorial we're going to have 60 stitches when we get back to here um, so that's easy breezy and I will um, pause the video right now go around and do my 60 stitches and I will meet you back here in a few minutes okay so I have finished my half double crochet round and I'm going to slip stitch back to join yeah sure I am And again you can chain one you don't have to but well now we're going to turn our work so that it's kind of facing us but now the um, wagon wheel is going to be facing down now we're going to start our cabling so we're going around in the right direction now with the cabling we're going to do um, oh goodness we're going to do treble crochets and uh, as in all this, we count the first stitch as a stitch. Treble crochet is um, wrap your yarn twice, 
we're going to skip the first two stitches and go into the third stitch and we're going to make a treble crochet so you wrap your hook twice go and pull up a loop pull through wrap yarn over pull through two pull through two we're going to do the first two or so stitches three and four of the row are going to be treble crochets now we're going to do two more trebles but we're going to come back in and work into those two stitches that we skipped and it's a little bit tricky because you're going to cross over these two that you just made you're going to put your hook in right here but you're going to bring it up in this space so you, you can yarn over pull through two pull through two pull through two three times then you're going to go another treble crochet in the front of this or inside the this stitch and again you got to pull your like that so that's the start of your cable and in this round we always want to go in front of these stitches so now we're gonna do the same thing we're doing the same thing all the way around so we're gonna skip we're gonna I always put my yarn on my hook if you're not good to uh, not familiar with treble crochet you hold two hooks two wraps on your hook I always put a finger on it to hold it now I'm gonna skip I've already worked these two stitches and now I'm gonna skip these two and start in the third stitch away and I'm gonna pull up a loop pull through two pull through two pull through two and again wrap twice go in pull up a loop and you're just going to yarn over and pull through two pull through two pull through two now we're going to go back into this stitch and if it you know helps you to put your finger there but you're pulling up your hook <laughs> oops what did i pull through only one <laughs> let's try that again wrap twice you're going to go into this stitch and you're going to pull your hook up right there between those other stitches and then you're going to pull through two pull through two pull through two until you just have one stitch and now this one's tricky you're going to put your hook in and you have to come up in in front of the previously done treble so that's a little bit a little bit more tricky and we're just going to continue to do this skip two stitches go into the third make your first treble and go into the next stitch to make another treble and we're going to do that tricky crossover thing so you wrap your hook two times go into the first stitch that you skipped pull your yarn up in front of the trebles you just made and do a treble oh gosh it's going off <laughs> and wrap your yarn twice and you're gonna see you're putting like put if you need to you can just put your finger right in there wrap your yarn twice put your hook in pull up here and then yarn over and pull through a loop through two through two through two let's try it one more time wrap your yarn twice we're going to go into the third stitch we're going to make a treble crochet see how loose this is that's what I'm saying when you get to this point um, on the bottom where you have we have three rows of cabling it's a lot looser so we're gonna come around I wish I could get it uh, to show you better and pull up through wrap your yarn pull through two pull through two pull through two and then we're gonna get that one that we've missed and we're gonna pull up in front of those other ones pull through two pull through two pull through two so if you need to see that let's I hope that the pulling through these two stitches is is not too confusing for anyone I mean this yarn is really nice but I keep getting this I don't know if it's something that I'm doing or what so go through here in and up and pull your yarn through through and through and through and one more time 
So we're gonna go into this stitch, put your hook up and through, pull your yarn and pull through two, two pull through, two pull through two. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. So now we're coming down the sides. You will always, from this point of this half double crochet down, have your 60 or 72 or whatever stitches you had. We will be doing no more increasing or decreasing. So at this point, we're just going to continue to do our uh, cable, our crosses. I guess you could call them crosses, but this is the start of our cabling. And we're just going to go through and continue to do this. You will, in my case, I'm having 60 stitches. Uh, so you will still have 60 stitches when we get to the end here. And if you just um, continue to do this all the way around, I will meet you in a minute. Well, it'll be no time for you, but it's going to be a couple of seconds for me. <laughs> all right, see you in a sec. Okay, now I have my cables all done here. We're going to slip stitch oops slip stitch to kind of join it all together it's a little bit loose now i'm going to um for round what are we on round nine is back post double crochets so instead of pulling your post to the front like we did um with these on the wagon wheel, we're going to put our post to the back and we're just going to do um, back post double crochet. Oh, which you have to go through the back. <laughs> did I do that right? No, I did not. Okay. So <laughs> let's start that again. You have to put your post to the back and then you're going to do your double crochet. So we're going to do, put your post to the back, put your hook in the front, and do one back post double crochet in every stitch around. So again, you're just putting your hook in front of the post instead of your post in front of the hook. And you're going around every stitch with one back post to come in from behind uh, come in from behind your work and you're going to do one back post double crochet around every uh, every post what did I grab try again okay you can't pull the stitch through with you just the yarn all right here we go one back post double crochet in every stitch around just get your hook in there wherever it needs to go and again as usual for the rest of the hat you will have 60 back post double crochets all the way around and this tightens it up a little bit because these are very loose but this will tighten it up just a little and it gives it this really nice little uh ribbing in there i kind of like that's why I put it there. <laughs> okay, so I will meet you at the end of this round, the end of round 10, and we will be changing color. So when you get to the end of this round, we will join um, with a slip stitch and fashion, fasten off uh, or just change color. However, however you like to change color, we're changing color and we're fastening off. So I will meet you at the end of this round and we will do that. Okay, so I'm at the end. I'm going to slip stitch. I do one of these little chain thingies. Cut a tail to weave in. And that is going to be the end of round nine. So now we're going to start round ten. Oh, I should have got this ready. Hold on. Alrighty. Whoa! <laughs> yep. That's life around here, huh? So now I'm going to join. Uh, let's start with a little knot.
I'm going to join right where I was before. I don't know. Do you guys like to join it this way or the other way? I don't know how different people want to join things, but you join it however you like joining it. I think I'm going to do it this way this time. Uh, we're just going to tighten this up. That's my problem. And then you can crochet over this, but all we're going to do is... Um, there, okay. Get it together here. We're going to do one single crochet... I don't count the join. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> We're just going to, and I'm going to crochet over these so I don't have to weave them in as much. Oh, can you see? What happened? I'm like so close. There. We're going to just do one single crochet in each stitch around. And a single crochet, if you don't know, you put your hook in there. You pull up a loop and yarn over and you pull through two. So we're just going to um, do this actually all the way around for rounds nine or rounds 10, 11, 12, and 13. When we get to the end of round 10, we're just going to slip stitch to join and continue. Um, for rounds 11, 12, and 13 the same way. At the end of round 13, you all, each round will still have your same 60 stitches. And when you get to the end of round 13, you're going to fasten off your yarn <coughs> and change back to your original color. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So, I think I can leave you on your own to do four rows of single crochet. And I'll see you back here when I'm done with that. Okay, I'm back. I have finished uh, rounds through 14. Um, so to start, or through, through round 13. This is the start of row 14. Um, Row 14 and 15 are just repeats of row 8 and 9. So we're just going to do this same thing here um, and here. I took the liberty to attach my yarn so you didn't have to look through that. So just as a refresher for what we did, we're going to do um, treble crochets, one, two, or skip the first two stitches. We count the stitch here. So one, two, and into the third stitch, we're going to do a treble. And into the fourth, loop wrap twice, we're going to do another treble. Then we're going to come back to the first stitch that we skipped and do another treble. And the second skip stitch, skipped stitch, and do another treble. Then we're going to skip the next two stitches, go into the third, and do another treble. Treble, treble, and a treble in the next. Now we're going to come over the front and go into the first skipped stitch and make a treble and there we go into the second skipped stitch and make another treble and back again to the skip oops <laughs> i didn't count very well skip two stitches and into the third stitch and we're going to make a treble fourth stitch, next stitch, make a treble, and I need more yarn, and then we're going to come back into the first skipped stitch, and back into the second skipped stitch, make more trebles all the way around the hat. Um, so that's the first set of cabling right there. You should be looking like this so far. Um, and when we're 
get all the way around. Uh, I'll meet you back for round 15, which is a repeat of round 14. Um, so if you want to work ahead, go right ahead. Oops, I didn't mean to go with you. Um, so if you want to work ahead, that's completely fine. At the end of round 15, we're simply going to go back and do a repeat of four rows of your single crochet. Um, so feel free to do that if you so desire. Uh, and again, that would be in your second color of yarn. If you decide to go, go forward with the single crochet rows, that'll be in your second color. Um, just like this complete, completely the same thing. Okay. So I'll meet you back here at the end of round 14. Okay. So my screen is getting very light. Hold on. Alrighty. So I have made it back. I've slip stitched and now we're going to do round 15, which is the back post double crochet excuse me back post double crochet round um so if you wanted to chain one you can if you don't want to just don't do it and we're gonna go in around and push the post to the back and we're gonna do a double crochet and we're gonna push the post to the back oops come on <laughs> uh, let's try again and do a double crochet and then the next post, push it to the back and do a double crochet. And I'm sure you remember how to do this. Just one back post in every double crochet around, or treble crochet. We're gonna do a back post double in every treble. That's, and at the end, as in all the rounds at this point, we will have 60 back post treble crochets or double crochets. At the end of round 15, as I said before, we're going to uh, fasten off and change color back to color number A, or, or letter back to your original, uh, back to the to the other color that you're using. <laughs> Let's go with that. Uh, so color B. We're going to go back to color B and we're going to do four more rows of single crochet. So let me show you my, so now we're at this part. Here we have some changes. We can't just go right straight in. I'll, I have to come back and show you. So this is this, we're here. And then you're going to do four rows of your color B. And then I'll meet you to start round. So this is round 15 and then 16 through 19. And I will meet you to start back here at round 20. I have oh, had to charge my phone. I got a cord in my way over here. Okay, so I had I have completed the four rows of single crochet, and I've attached um, my new working color. And this is going to be another round of row eight. So we're redoing this round one more time. And we're also gonna do redo round nine. So rounds 20 and 21 are gonna be repeats of rounds eight and nine. But on this section of cabling, this is the last section of cabling and it's longer. So we will have rounds 23 and 24. Um, but let's see, so we're going to, um, one, two, start in the third stitch. And we're gonna do a treble crochet. And then we're gonna go to the fourth stitch and do another treble crochet. And then we're gonna come back and do a treble crochet in the first stitch. And remember, you gotta stick your hook up through there. And then a single crochet in the second stitch that we skipped. I mean, a treble crochet. I need more yarn. Hold on, let me get more yarn. All right. 
and then again we're going to treble skip two stitches go into the third stitch and we will do another treble this whole round is treble we treble into the fourth stitch and then we're going to come back and go into the first sti skip stitch and the second skipped stitch we're going to do that all the way around at the end we'll still have our same 60 stitches um, slip stitch together and then do the back post row this is back post double crochets so remember you're going to be pushing your post to the back and um, crocheting around that post so you'll come into here push your post into the back and do a double crochet um, so do rounds eight and nine uh, repeat rounds eight and nine for rounds 20 and 21 and I will come back to show you what happens with round 22 okay so I have completed now rounds 20 and 21 which are just repeats of the things that we've previously done now for round 22, I want to show you, and I hope you can see it well in the cap, in the hat that I've already finished. But as you can see here, let me pull this. Doesn't want to pull. <laughs> okay. Uh, these stitches are going this direction. For the next row, I want them to come this direction. So if you see here, we go this way, this way, this way. So for round 22, which is the only difference in the, there's three rounds of cabling here. Well, it's actually, I guess, six rounds, but looks like three. Um, so here we have the stitches going this way. Now here, when we get to this part, we're going to put them behind. So it'll make the stitches go the opposite direction of what we've been doing. So let me show you. Oh, I think I, I don't know, did I lose my thread there? I don't know what the, I don't know why that's there. All right, so we're going to do our treble, the first treble, and it's going to go in the one, two, third stitch because this is my um, back post row. So we're going to go treble in the third stitch, treble in the fourth stitch. Now before when we were doing round eight, we did our treble and we came in the front like this. This time we're going to come in the back. Okay, sorry, I had a technical difficulty and now we have to fix it. Okay, so I, I did my first two treble crochets. Now to make this stitch look like it's here, these two have to be in front. So we have to come from behind. You're going to go into your first stitch and like bring the stitch to the back and then yarn over and you got your loops on your hook and you're going to pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over oops and pull through two so then you're going to do it again and you're going to come into the second stitch you're going to go from like under the bottom and pull the stitch to the back you know the stitch from the previous row and pull through two and pull through two so now your stitches are crossed so let's do that again you're gonna skip the first two and you're gonna come in the front just like normal and do a double crochet a treble crochet and into the next stitch and do a treble crochet now the tricky part you're gonna come behind it'll be easier to see here because we don't have that other thing in the way and you're putting your hook from back here and then you're kind of pushing all that stuff to the front and just have your stitch my metallic yarn is getting there the metallic thread was getting stuck through sure through two and then through two there's a funky piece of metallic thread that doesn't want to cooperate okay so again into the next stitch you're going to kind of bring this you know just bring the stitch uh, it's, it's catching there there we go and you're gonna well shoot that didn't work <laughs> okay try that again so into the stitch pull that stitch to the back 
and you're gonna, she doesn't wanna pull through my second stitch. <sighs> it really makes it tight, so, and this metallic yarn is not being very cooperative. Okay, pull it through, yarn over. Okay, there we go. Now pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Yeah, one, two, skipping into the third. Do your treble, just like normal. Into the fourth, do your treble, just like normal. And we're gonna yarn over. We're gonna go into the first stitch that we skipped from behind it. So like this, into the stitch. We're gonna push, pull whatever to get that stitch to the back. Yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. See how that metallic thread is giving me an issue? Pull through two. So you're gonna do this all the way around uh, to give you the cross. Uh, it is a little bit on the difficult side, but this is the only difficult thing in the whole hat. So and pull through two and pull through two. So you're gonna do that all the way around and see how you got your stitches going this way and then this way. So that is round 22. That is the only round that's different from anything else in the rest of these is that we're going from behind instead of in front. So we're gonna do this all the way around for row 22. Then row 23 is just a repeat of row 29, or row nine, we're just gonna do the back post double crochets. And then the next two rows are a complete repeat of this right here. Um, if you want, and, and that will give you this total look right there. So that's the four, like three rows of cabling, um, which is actually six rounds, but looks like that. If you want this to be bigger, well, we'll talk about that after I get these done. So I will meet you at the end of round 22, just to show you what it looks like. And um, I'll be back in a minute and then we'll, We'll talk again. Okay, so I've made it around and I'm gonna single crochet. I mean, slip stitch to do that. Oh, come on, to join them. Got that to split my yarn. Alrighty, let's try that again. So we're going to slip stitch to join. And then we're going to do the back post double crochet. So we're pushing this so that we get that little ridge. And this will be, I just want to show you what it looks like all together. Um, this is round 23. It's just another round of back post treble or doubles. Uh, let's get a couple so you can really get a good visual I think with this so you, it's actually easier to do the back posts I think um, with these stitches being on the front oops there we go so you see a couple of rounds so you can see it's going like that and then you're going to do the back post. Then we're going to do one more round of just the regular like we've done in the past. So um, I'm going to get that done. So I'm going to do round 23 of the back post. Then round 24 and 25, the final two rounds, are just... Oh, oh wait, this is round 22. This is 23. Um, in round 24... Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Ha! <laughs> You end with round 24. You end with this. So I have this back post round to go, and then this round right here, we end with round 24. So I will finish round 23 and round 24, and I'll come back in a second. Okay, so I finished the round of um, back posts, and now we're just going to continue to do um, just like we did up here. Nothing different. Uh, this will be the last round as long as you want it to be the last round. Why don't you go into the third stitch and do your treble. 
and go into the fourth stitch and do your treble. And then you're going to come back from in front like we were doing before and going through that little hole that we have here and doing your treble. Oh. Ah, come on. There we go. And the fourth one of the set. And then come back. Uh, let's see, where are we? One, two, into the third. Into the fourth. Ooh, oh, so sorry. <laughs> I hit the phone when I'm trying to get more yard. <laughs> Um, and then we're going to come back to the first one that we skipped. From the front. And the second one that we skipped. And we're going to continue that all the way around, but now you can get an idea how it's doing the, you know, weave kind of thing. Now, for my hat, I ended here. And that was perfectly fine with me. Um, and it fit me fine. Uh, I like the way it fits. Uh, my testers, one of them added... Uh, it felt too loose for her. She, she, uh, but she added more up here and didn't decrease. So she did a round or two of single crochet to make a brim, and that looked fine and it was wonderful. Uh, you can do that if you feel like it's too loose on your head. Um, I happen to like it loose, and I like the look of it that way. Um, but you know, it's your hat. You can do whatever you want to to it. And uh, the other thing I wanted to tell you was if you want it to be longer, you can always uh, do this, you know, continue to do the cables. So if you were to do another round of cables, you would obviously do the back post double crochet after this round. And then the next round you would want to do just like you did round 22. Um, so that you continue to get the zigzag. Uh, you don't want to do this round again. So you get the zigzag and you can do it that way. Or you can just add more sections like this in before you go here. You know, if you put this on and you feel like, oh, that's not long enough, add more of these sections. Add more of this. It doesn't matter. Um, to make it as long or as you'd like it to be. Uh, so I will finish up this and come back and show you the completed project in just a minute. All right, so I'm back. I have it completed, oh, except for I didn't weave in all the ends. I'll be honest. <laughs> uh, not all the ends are woven in yet, but this is the completed hat. Uh, I did put a pom-pom, a white pom-pom on the top. Um, it's kind of a big pom-pom. <laughs> you can't even hardly see the wagon wheel. That's how my pom-pom is on mine as well, because that's what I had. But let me uh, show you one more thing. I have, this is um, the white yarn that I have left. I have this much. There were, oh, it tells me somewhere. This was 186 yards. And I have this much left. And this was uh, premium fiber. Da, 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 da. This was 200 yards. And I have this much left. So I think I might try a pom pom. Um, I have never made a pom pom out of yarn. I have a yarn maker, I mean, a pom pom maker. So I think I might try. I have, I have several sizes. So I think I might use this and make a smaller pom-pom with matching yarn. Um, but that would be a whole different tutorial. <laughs> and put it on there. I just clipped this in. Um, but hold on, and I'll put it on and show you what it looks like. Really recording? Yeah. Okay, so here we go. 
this is what the red hat looks like or well it's actually pink it looks red maybe a little uh here's the side view so you see even though this part this isn't uh and it can come down further if i wanted it to um <laughs> there are holes here look at my white hair showing through <laughs> anyway that's what this one looks like i don't want to leave it on too long i don't want to stretch it out for my granddaughter uh but that's that's the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Thanks for making one. If you make one, I'd love to see it on my Facebook group page uh, and see how yours turned out and what colors you used and what kind of pom-pom, if any, you put on. Uh, it, 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 my Facebook group page will be linked in the description box below. And I'm going to try to be really good and list at what point the different rows start uh, in the editing of this, putting this back together. Cross your fingers that I get that done and get it done accurately. Uh, the yarns again that I used were just, you know, just sparkly, uh, Red Heart with Love and Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek. And I'm going to, I think, try to make a pom-pom out of those. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, a share. Uh, and if you're not subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for making and creating with me. And have a totally, oh wait, we've got two we can show. There we go. Have a totally awesome, great, fantastic day. See you in the next video. Bye.